Assalamu alaikum dear students, I am Anjum Shafiq, your biology teacher for grade 11 and today I am going to discuss the remaining topic of nucleus. So let's move to the class board. So nucleus So we were discussing the components of nucleus. So why is the start karte? Components of nucleus. So dear students, uh, there are four components of nucleus. namely number one is nucleoplasm which we have discussed in the previous lecture it consists of the soluble sap okay, of nucleus Number two, we have discussed the nuclear envelope or the nuclear membranes, clear? It's my inner membrane and outer membrane, nuclear pores, number of nuclear pores, their importance, their shapes. And now number three, third part, important part is the nucleolus the nucleolus here dear students nucleolus ko uh, discuss karne se pehle uh, do cheeze aap se share karta chalo first thing that the nucleus can only be seen in a non-dividing cell. Okay. Koi cell, just be cell division start nahi hui, ya jo resting condition bhi hai, to uske dal aapko nucleus nazar a sakta hai, thik hai? In a non-dividing cell, There are no chromosomes visible, rather there are visible thread-like structures or thread-like material called chromatin, which is called chromatin, okay? So, in non-dividing cell, my dear students, nucleus to nazar aayega, lekin usme chromosomes visible nahi hote, balke thread-like structure nazar aayega, mein material nazar aayega, jisko hum chromatin kate hai, clear? During cell division, jab cell division start hoti hai, during cell division, the nuclear membrane ruptures and the nucleus 
is not visible to so, a dividing cell of cell which is start ho chuki during pro phase the nuclear membranes they are disrupted they are disorganized to us waqt jo hai hame nucleus nazar nahi aayega and during uh, cell division the chromatin condenses into chromosomes clear to jo chromatin jo thread like material tha wo condense karke chromosomes bana dega so that was important regarding the mcqs now the nucleus so in nucleus there is present non membranous darkly stained body called nucleolus clear to nucleus ke andar ek non membrane bounded डार्कली स्टेड बॉडी एक स्ट्रक्चर मौजूद होता है उसको हम कहते हैं न्यूक्लियोलस एंड स्टूडेंट्स द न्यूक्लियोलस इज द साइट और स्ट्रक्चर वेयर राइबोसोमल आर एन ए हमने पढ़ा था चैप्टर नंबर टू के एंड सेकेंड लास्ट टॉपिक में ठीक द राइबोसोमल आर एन ए इज सिंथसाइज एंड स्टोर्ड क्लियर यहां पर राइबोसोमल आर एन ए सिंथसाइज भी होगा और स्टोर भी होगा क्लियर एंड द न्यूक्लियस मे कंटेन वन और टू न्यूक्लियल आए एक न्यूक्लियस भी एक न्यूक्लियल आए न्यूक्लियोलस भी हो सकता है या फिर दो भी हो सकते हैं न्यूक्लियल आए ठीक ठीक है नाउ the regions of nucleolus so as far as regions are concerned so there are two main regions two main regions in nucleolus number 1 is the central fibril area the central fibril area it contains heavy molecular weight rna and ribosomal dna okay and the second region is peripheral granular area or region that contains precursors of ribosomes clear that contains the precursors of ribosomes 
नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द डायग्राम ताकि सारे जो कुछ भी अब तक हमने पढ़ा उसको क्लियर किया जा सके so this is the diagram of nucleus and the nuclear pores these are the nuclear pores and that is the outer nuclear membrane the inner nuclear membrane here is present the dark stained non membranous body that is the nucleolus and uh, it contains just in order to complete its uh, the contents main yahan par chromosome show kar raha hu otherwise hum baat kar chuke hain ki non dividing cell mein chromosome nahi balki is the thread like structure nazar aayenge thread like material nazar aayega and also there are present some ribosomes and enzymes so this is a structure of nucleus this is outer nuclear membrane and this one is inner nuclear membrane and these are the nuclear pores that one is chromatin and this is the chromosome nucleolus and uh, the ribosomes yeah and now here i'm going to draw the nucleolus now this is nucleolus central fibril area and the peripheral granular region clear this one is pe peripheral granular area or region uh, which consists of the precursors of ri ribosomes and this is the central fibril area okay yeah. so this is the structure of nucleolus ab aate hain students ab mazid 
اگلے ٹاپک کی طرف ایک اور چیز یاد رکھیے گا دا کروماتھن دا کروماتھن از کمپوز آف نمبر ون ڈی این اے اینڈ نمبر ٹو از دا پروٹین پروٹین از دا ہسٹون ہسٹون پروٹین ہوتی ہے اپ ٹو فورٹی پرسینٹ از ڈی این اے اینڈ اپ ٹو سکسٹی پرسینٹ اٹ کنسٹ آف دا پروٹینس اینڈ دا اسٹوڈنٹس ناؤ the third fourth part that is the chromosomes is the fourth portion of uh, the nucleus the fourth component the first one nucleoplasm the second is nuclear envelope the third one is nucleolus and the fourth one is chromosomes so the condensed condensed chromatin is called a chromosome theek hai and jo jab chromatin jo is as so this is thread like material which is called chromatin and when it condenses when it condenses it forms to is tarah se condense ho raha hai sukad raha hai so this becomes a chromosome clear this is a chromosome or chromosome distance these are the short arms short arms and these are the long arms clear and that point is centromere clear so the chromosome it consists of a centromere centromere uh, it is basically the condensed portion of chromatin where the chromatids are attached jahan par chromatids attach hote hain and centromere has a protein called kinetochore where spindle fibers are attached okay so yes let's suppose these are the two chromatids so the chromatids the chromatids aapas mein attach hai andar se centromere se aur isi centromere ki extension hoti hai bahar ki taraf jahan par aakar spindle fiber ne attach hona hota hai theek hai use kehte hain kinetochore clear اور اسی طرح سے دا نمبر آف کروموسوم ان ایچ آرگنزم از اسپیسیفک اٹ از فکسڈ سو ان ہیومنس نمبر آف کروموسومس اٹ از امپورٹنٹ ریگارڈنگ دا ایم سی کیوز ان ہیومنس دا ہیومن کنٹینس forty six chromosomes clear 
chimpanzee contains 48 chromosomes potato it contains 48 chromosomes the fruit fly which is called as drosophila melanogaster as it is biological name we have to underline it so it contains eight chromosomes here and uh, the garden pea it consists of 14 chromosomes as far as uh, frog is concerned rana tigrina it consists of 26 chromosomes here and dear students a number of other examples are also here so these uh, number of chromosomes are important regarding the MCQs. This one is a coach is the number of chromosomes we have written here is somatic cells. We have talked about this previously in chapter number 2 in nucleic acids. We have talked about the diploid and haploid. Okay? So, diploid cell is called which are chromosomes paired. This concept is all in the work of the life. Please make sure that this is clear. Uh, diploid cell as a cell a cell having paired chromosomes this may chromosomes paired honge use kehte hain diploid and it is represented by 2n clear jaise ki hamare jitne somatic cells hote hain and like the skin cell or the ear cell or the heart cell all these are diploid cells and number 2 is the haploid cell so as a cell just me unpaired chromosomes okay, that have unpaired chromosomes like uh, the gametes means the sperms or the egg cells clear okay, and all the somatic cells so that is the example so dear students hopefully न्यूक्लियस क्लियर हो गया होगा आपको मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में और डिस्कस करेंगे द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस चैप्टर दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रोकैरियोट्स एंड यूकैरियोटिक सेल्स सो तब तक अपना ख्याल रखिएगा अल्लाह हाफिज़